Hello, and welcome to the cave. Today I want to show you how to use Minion to manage your add-ons in Elder Scrolls Online. One of the questions that I get sometimes when I say to use this is, do I need to use it? And the answer is no. If you want to install add-ons on Elder Scrolls Online, you can just search for ESO add-ons. Here's one of the more popular sites for finding those. And I can just find an add-on like Combat Metrics. I can hit download. And what's going to download is this nice little zip folder. So after I look at that sucker, I can open them up. And there's the folder that I need. And I can go to Documents, Elder Scrolls Online, Live, Add-ons, and I can just copy this folder into that folder, and Combat Metrics would be installed. Minus, I also need some libraries, so I need to go install four more things. And every time there's an update, I have to go find it manually, do this whole process again. To me, that's really cumbersome. This is what we don't want. So I'm going to show you a much better way, which is to just use Minion. So if you search for minion, we don't look, we don't want these yellow guys. We're looking for this first real uh, page that we can go to. So that's going to be minion premiere add-on management. We can go to download. I always do 64-bit for my downloads, and that's going to download that. Once it downloads, you can click on this exe to install minion. This will install minion. Of course, I want to proceed. Let's hit next. Now you can move your installation folders to another drive or another place. You can do that while browsing. Otherwise, you can just click next through all of this and install. Once it installs, the default option is to launch Minion. I'm going to do that. All right, now we need to agree to the license agreements and it will search for Elder Scrolls Online and World of Warcraft. I don't want World of Warcraft, and I'm going to tell it to remember those settings. I only want it to scan my C drive because that's where I installed it. Remember those settings. <coughs> and it will fail to detect it, or at least it always does for me. So let's go ahead and go to Elder Scrolls Online. Go through your C drive. Go to Users your username and documents. You can also probably just click on documents up here in your browser and then go to Elder Scrolls Online, go under live and add-ons. That's the folder we want. And this was inevitable. It always locks up like this for me. So I'm gonna close that. And if you did everything the way that I did, you'll have a start menu shortcut. So let's go ahead and open up Minion again. And this time it will find all of my stuff. And he did not find my stuff. So if you ever encounter Minion misbehaving like I just did, what you're going to do is just never be afraid to restart your computer and hopefully Minion starts doing what we expect it to do. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Minion again. And now he finds all my add-ons. Now, if it's your first time opening up Minion, you probably don't have any add-ons installed unless you did it the other way. So you're going to go to find more to find more add-ons. You can click on this install button to install any of these add-ons. And these are some of the most popular ones. So what we want to do is we want to find combat metrics. So we're just going to search in there and we're going to install combat metrics. That's one of the more important ones to have. So if you look at it, there's another four libraries that we need. Add-on menu, custom menu, combat, and data encode. So if we search for those, add-on menu, there it is. 2.0 is the one that you want. Go ahead and install that custom menu again install that one and then you're going to install data in code and the last one was just combat so it's right here so you can install that you can install uh whatever other add-ons that you like some of the most popular ones would be something like a ui i like this a ui one which changes the way that you interact with the game and how your health bars and everything look uh you've got some cool ones for dressing rooms, so you can swap between sets really quickly and save um, different loadouts for your skills. There's all my libraries. I like things like Loot Log. Pithka's Achievement Tracker is another important one for rating. So let's look at one last thing in Elder Scrolls and we'll look at to make sure that all of our add-ons are working. All right, now I've logged into Elder Scrolls Online to look at the second half of this equation which is you have to log into a character to see the add-ons. You can't do add-ons from the start screen because it won't life. show everything in action. But we can hit escape to hit the menu, look at add-ons. And I specifically made a mistake on purpose because I looked at combat metrics and it's not active. You see the little red, it's all red and there's no little box with a check mark in it. That's because we're missing some dependencies, some other required add-ons. So if we look down, uh, combat metrics fight data isn't working and that's because it's missing uh, combat so combat isn't installed and I did that on purpose because I wanted to show you if you make a mistake 
and you don't add all of the add-ons that are required, all of the libraries that are required for another add-on to work, you can just go back and we're going to search for combat. We're going to install that. And now if I hit a uh, slash reload UI and I give it a second because it's going to go through the loading screen. But what that does is it just causes it to load up all of those add-ons again, check for everything. And now what we should have is combat metrics working because I've installed all of the dependencies. Now everything should work. So let's look at that now. Add-ons, combat metrics looks like it's going to work just fine because I did install that lib combat. And you can check, like if you uncheck combat, you can see all the stuff that would stop working. And if I uncheck one like uh, add-on menu, that'll take down <laughs> most of the add-ons I have because that's an important one. So then we can just recheck those and everything should be working just fine. I can reload my UI to make sure things are working. So that's how you go through installing add-ons, managing them, and if you run into hiccups where it's not active in the game, how do you troubleshoot that and find out how to install all the required libraries. So the next video I want to make, I want to show you how to use combat metrics along with some other add-ons and do your parse. So catch you next time.